Hello there beautiful people, welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them line in the comments, I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, and please be a witness for that because I made over 300 videos of how to Shopify customization, they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that, so make the video for them. So don't hesitate man, if you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below, I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel, I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money, and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, now respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another request which is how to translate your Shopify store to multiple different languages without typing a single word. Yes, you heard that right. Everything will be translated automatically. You don't have to type in each word separate and you can actually do that if you want to uh, type in a specific translations to those specific things. You can do that actually. And I will show you the option how to do that. But most of the people I know interested in translating the Shopify store to multiple different languages without having to type in the literally the translation using the keyword. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this scroller logos as you can see with the fade at the corners. And once I hover over it, it stopped. Or even better, the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have six products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And it will only show up once the user is trying to leave and he didn't check out for the product he added to the cart. And yes, you guessed right, this is actually by using your own custom code and I got amazing feedback about this actually. But I'll let you check out the channel and decide for yourself. But in this video, as I said, we will translate this Shopify store to multiple different languages, as I said. So the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. After that, click on this settings icon at the bottom left corner, as you can see, simply click on it and it will show you the settings on your Shopify store. Then use the search bar at the top of the page in here and search for language. And it will show you some options that has to do with language. Select the one before the last one that says languages. Click on it and it will show you the languages that's added to your Shopify store. And by default should be English in here or the language based on your account or the Shopify store you're using. In my case, I have only English, so I wanna add other language, which will be Spanish, hola español. So <laughs> add button, click on add language right here and it will show you a list drop down of all the languages. So let me select for Spanish, here it is, I added Spanish. After you added the first language, click on next, then enable this option right here to enable the language as well, then click on done. After that, you will see the language in here. However, you should say, or it should say, no translations added. This language is added, but there is no translation yet. That's exactly what we're about to do next. But if you wanna add other languages again, click on this button right here to add language and add that language as well. And the thing we're gonna use next is, it shows up on the message as you can see this one right here. But in case this message didn't show up, simply click on uh, apps right here, click on this option that says apps below it, there is add button, click on add, and it will show you this prompt with the most popular applications, and click on Shopify app store, then simply search for translate, and you will see translate and adapt, this one right here, make sure to access this application that says buy Shopify. This is by provided by Shopify, completely free. So simply click on it, then click on install, then it will be added to your Shopify store, and it will automatically open up the settings so you can translate the, the language that you did add. As you saw, I added Spanish, here it is. If you added multiple languages, click on it and it will show you a drop down for all the languages you did add. In my case, I only added Spanish, so let's just start with Spanish. So simply select the language and below, it will show you all the elements that can be translated. Pages, meta objects, uh, blog, blog posts, products. If I click on products, for example, it will show me on the left of the page right here, all the products on my Shopify store. And if I select this one, for example, it will show me the title, the description and URL handler and so on. And 
the option to translate each one separate. If you are lazy, you want to use auto translate, simply click on this button right here that says auto translate and it will translate everything on this product automatically. However, if you want to translate everything, collections, products, everything at once, simply get back in here, then select the language, I will use Spanish again, and click on auto translate. This option will translate all of these elements all at once. You don't have to click on each one separate and translate it. But this one is handy if you want to set uh, like a, a specific word. It depends on the language actually. And also translation is not always perfect. So if it's like a very rare language, it might get it wrong for some product or something. You want always to double check and correct the things. You can correct things just like I did right now by accessing the products, collections, and so on. But in my case, click on auto translate. And after that, we'll show you this prompt and saying, hey, it will translate using Google Translate because that's what they use. Then click on translate. Then it will show you a message saying, hey, we will email you once the translation is over. It, it says it may take several hours. But for my experience, actually, it doesn't like 45 minutes, 30 minutes. It depends actually on the like the pressure or the servers how many people translate at the same time something like that so it may take around 45 minutes i would recommend you just to forget about it until you see the email in your inbox then you can do simply the same exact steps for the other languages so far there is no option to translate automatically to multiple languages at once but if they did add the option I will make an update for you, so make sure to check out the channel if you're watching from the future. But for now, that's how you translate your Shopify store to multiple different languages without typing a single word. And if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.